Hi there, I'm Peter Russell from SuperTax. Thanks for watching another one of my video blogs. Today we're discussing the top marginal tax rate for non-eligible dividends here in Canada, a brief and general understanding. Now currently if you're a resident of Ontario in Canada here, your top marginal tax rate for non-eligible dividends is 32.57%. This is a lot less than the top marginal tax rate for regular income in Ontario. That rate is 46.41%. Now why the difference? Well, it's because these dividends have already been taxed once in the corporation. Canada doesn't want their individual taxpayers to be taxed on the same income twice. So, essentially, when a shareholder receives a dividend as part of their, as part of their compensation, there is a dividend tax credit to help offset the double taxation. This dividend tax credit helps rectify the problem by allowing a tax credit for the tax that has already been paid in the corporation. This concept is called integration for tax purposes here in Canada. The main idea behind this in integration is that regardless of the compensation by salary or dividends, the total tax paid between the corporation and the individual personally should not be more than 46.41% of what you have already received. Now, non-eligible dividends are essentially dividends paid to a shareholder from either a CCPC or, a private, or another private corporation which enjoys the small business deduction. These corporations generally have a combined federal and provincial, or in our cases Ontario, tax rate of 15.5% in either 2011 or 2012. Now, when a non-eligible dividend is paid out of this type of corporation to an individual personally, the dividend is grossed up by 1.25%. This 1.25% represents the pre-tax value of the dividend within the corporation. Now, the taxpayer is also entitled to a federal dividend tax credit equal to 13.3%, and if you are located in Ontario, a provincial dividend tax credit of 4.50%. These two amounts generally represent the credit of any tax paid within the corporation. Now, I have on my big board an example of how we break down the top marginal tax rate of the non-eligible dividends so you can understand how it works here. Let's go to the big board. Okay, non-eligible dividends for 2011. It says our rate is 32.57 percent. So as I mentioned before, dividends coming out of this type of corporation, say a CCPC which is subject to the small business deduction limit and generally pays corporate tax at 15.5 percent. This dividend of $80 must be grossed up by 1.25%. So 80 times 1.25% is $100. Now we gotta calculate the federal tax on $100. Well, the top marginal federal tax rate is 29%. We deduct our federal dividend tax credit of 13.33%, giving us 15.67%. Then we gotta calculate our Ontario tax. The top marginal tax rate for Ontario purposes is 11.16%. We deduct from that 4.5% the Ontario Dividend Provincial Tax Credit giving us 6.66%. So we've discovered A and B. Now C, that is the Ontario surtax amount. We pay Ontario surtax on top of our Ontario tax. How we calculate that is our top marginal rate 11.16 less 4.5% for the Ontario Dividend Tax Credit, 6.66, same number as before, but we must multiply it by 56%, equaling 3.73%. Why is that? Well, because 56% is made up of two Ontario surtaxes, 20% and 36% at a certain point in time. Generally, once you have over $66,000 of Ontario surtax in Canada, you start to hit these Ontario surtaxes. So if we're dealing with the high margins in Ontario, we're going to definitely have an additional 56% of 6.66%. This number 3.73 is part C, so we add up A, B, and C. 
giving us a total of 26.06%. Now we have to gross this number up by 1.25%. Why is that? Well, if you remember back up here, our $80 dividend was grossed up to $100. You actually only received $80, but you're being taxed like it was $100. So we have to gross up our tax rate. So if we go back down here, 26.06% times 1.25 gives us 32.57%, which is equal to the, the number that we have up here, 32.57%. That is how we come up with our top marginal tax rate for non-eligible dividends here in Canada. Okay. Well, I hope you found this video informative on the top marginal tax rate for non-eligible dividends. Please look out for my video on integration of non-eligible dividends between corporations and individuals and also look out for my discussions on eligible dividends and their marginal tax rates. I'm Peter Russell. Thank you very much for listening. Take care.